Now it's being billed as a revolutionary space-based communications network that will bring affordable high-speed internet to parts of the world which currently suffer from slow connectivity. The first it's satellites of the O3B network have been launched on a Soyuz rocket from French Guiana. They're different to traditional satellites in that their orbit will be just a quarter of the distance from the Earth. That is designed to reduce the delay that around 3 billion internet users in the developing world experience it when loading a web page. Well, the CEO of O3B, Steve Collar, explained the concept. I think it's like all good ideas. It's obvious to everyone once somebody's thought of it, but until that point, it's a mystery. Certainly, I think we're going to be able to revolutionize the satellite industry. So at what stage are you now? So we've just launched the first four satellites. We're a constellation and we're going to launch another four in September and we'll be live and operating by, uh, by November. And from that point, we're just going to keep building uh, and growing the constellation and delivering more and more bandwidth. And you're aiming for those other three billion people who have slow internet connection. Where are they? Give us an idea of where you're targeting. Yeah, they're all over the world. Our, our principal focus is the emerging markets. And so that includes places like Brazil and Peru and Colombia, uh, all across Africa, Asia, places like Indonesia, and also islands, remote islands in the middle of the Pacific. So somewhere like, say, the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is, um, well, notoriously not very well connected, what kind of impact will it have for that country? Yeah, it's a great example. The, the DRC is a very, very difficult country to reach. It's obviously uh, heavily jungled with populations spread all over the country. We actually already have a customer in, uh, in DRC and we'll be uh, lighting them up by uh, the fourth quarter this year and providing hundreds of megabits of capacity uh, into a country that desperately, desperately needs it. And you're saying that it could be as much as 50% less than traditional satellite services. That's... Um, that sounds quite remarkable. Just explain the logistics then. Yeah, there's two real benefits that we can bring. One is we're bringing the satellites much closer to the Earth, which means you don't have that satellite delay that everybody kind of hates. Um, and we're also substantially cheaper. Our network is cheaper. We've done it in a much more affordable way, uh, which means that we can provide the bandwidth to our customers in a much more affordable way, which is also key in the emerging markets where typically the, the, the disposable incomes are lower. But many of the people that you are targeting still will not have that kind of level of disposable income to afford this, realistically. No, well, so, so that's actually not true we, in that we're... Um, we've already signed up customers and they're deploying 3G networks on satellite for the first time. 3G meaning both voice and data ac across mobile networks. So uh, we're a technology that really can enable that and spread broadband into the emerging markets. Well, that was Steve Collar from O3B explaining that new satellite network. Now let's catch up with some of the day's other news.